Hi, Stefan the BMW DIY Guy. Really simple, quick project today. I'm going to be changing out the factory OEM T-MAP sensor for a new one. Now, why would we want to do this? As you take your car through the progression of, of upgrades and especially you start increasing your turbo, it's very easy to exceed what the factory T-MAP sensor can handle. So that sensor sits into your charge pipe and helps monitor the boost that's coming out of your turbo. Factory turbos went as high as nine pounds. Nine pounds is very low depending on what other upgrades that you've done, like the JB4 box, the Active 8 from Active Auto Work, or in my case, the Active Auto Work full tune. I am well past nine pounds. The factory T-MAP sensor is good to about 20 or 22 pounds, depending on who you talk to, and you can hit that really, really easily with any of those other add-ons. So what I've done in, is I'm replacing the OEM 3 bar, or air pressure, or bar pressure, T-MAP sensor with a 3.5, which is good to the high 30s. Now, you can buy a 4.0 as well. They're significantly more expensive than the 3.5, which are good to, to past 40. I'm never gonna be anywhere near that. I'm never gonna be anywhere near the high 30s with the factory turbo. So this change out for me just makes sense. Now, I've talked to a lot of people, Active Auto Work has got some great opinions on this, and they, they have the opinion that as your car gets older and you increase this boost, it's a good thing to change out, and it's super simple. It should take you less than 10 minutes to do, and depending on, on whether you have the factory charge pipe, you need a screwdriver, or you have Active Auto Works charge pipe and you need a seven millimeter socket, that's all you need to do this work. So let's go out to the garage, change this out, and get ready for more improvements. Okay, so we're out in the garage, and I wanted to show an orientation. So if you've never pulled your T-MAP sensor, which is on your charge pipe, uh, it's here on the right side or driver's side of your motor. You can see it right down here where my hand is, and I'll zoom in a little bit. It's a little bit hard to see with the camera. It's e incredibly easy to see with your eyes. It's just right here. There are two seven millimeter bolts here and here that keep it in and one plug right here at the back. The plug, there's a little depressed tab that, that, you're going to, that you're going to press on and then the plug will come off and then you'll take your two seven millimeter, or you take these two seven millimeter bolts out and then the sensor will come out. Now, even though I'm replacing it, I'm gonna pull it out very, very carefully and set it aside very carefully because they, they do tend to be a little fragile. And it'd be nice to have a backup. So even though I'm doing the upgrade, this three bar T-MAP sensor will be my backup if I ever have a problem. So let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So here's looking down on your charge pipe. Like I said, your T-MAP sensor is right here. You can see where the cable comes up and clips to it and your two seven millimeter nuts, or excuse me, seven millimeter bolts that are gonna come out. So I'm gonna back those two out and I'll show you how it comes out. So on the cable, like I said, there's a little locking tab. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take a flat bladed screwdriver or a pick, insert it underneath the little tab to the front here and pull upwards gently and then back the plug off. So now the plug is off. All you have to do is take seven, mil seven millimeter wrench or socket and just back these bolts out. So I'm gonna back both of these bolts out and then I'll show you what the sensor looks like before I put the new one back in. Okay, so both uh, seven millimeter bolts are out. Now, the one thing is if you've got the factory charge pipe, the plastic one, these might actually end up being screws, depending on what you have. Now, I have the Active Auto Work charge pipe installed, so I have two seven millimeter bolts. Now, both are out. The other thing is, be very careful not to drop them. They'll drop down into your belly pan, which would be a huge pain to try to get back. So, both are out, and I'm just gonna gently walk this sensor back out of the charge pipe. There it is. Okay, so then it's out, and all we have to do is take the new one and walk it right back into the same place. Now, this is a three bar, three bar OEM T-MAP sensor. And the reason why you wanna change these things out, like I mentioned, is if you've increased your turbo to the point that you might start to get T-MAP sensor issues. So I'm gonna change it out to a 3.5. You can also go as high as a four, as a four bar, but I don't see a reason to do that. I'm never gonna take the factory turbo that far ever. So, all right, so I'm gonna get the 3.5 and we'll do and we'll install it and we're done. Okay, zoomed in, just looking at John, which is probably maybe not the most useful view, but you can see that the new sensor's in. I, I put it in in the correct orientation, which is the plug towards the driver or the back of the motor and pressed it in. Uh, to the charge pipe with my hand. I actually had to reach down and put my hand, the whole palm of my hand on it and gently press into place. The seal is really tight, a little gasket ring on the sensor. So 
it's definitely a good seal going in, let me tell you that. I've put both seven millimeter, seven millimeter bolts back in. I'm just gonna tighten them down. The cable's already plugged in and we're done. This is one of the simplest upgrades you can do as you continue to take your car through a progression of increasing your turbo, increasing your components and aftermarket components. This is just a smart thing to do. All right, the sensors all changed out, fired the car up, took it for a quick drive to make sure that there was no warning or error codes or anything else like that, ran absolutely beautifully. So I wouldn't expect it to run otherwise, candidly. And unless I'm really pushing my car, this T-MAP sensor isn't gonna make any, any bit of a difference in the nor your normal day-to-day, -day, daily driving kind of thing. But I have more tune changes coming up. I've already made significant changes to my car. Plus my car is now at about 52,000 miles. So talking to the right people, they definitely say it's time for that sensor to get changed out. Higher boost ratings, which can, which can get upwards of 20 and you know, wear and tear on that sensor. So simple change. I've got the sensor linked below if it's something that you'd want to change as well. Like I said, I installed the OEM 3.5 bar sensor. And I'm gonna keep my 3.0 just as a spare. I mean, I know it still works. I'm gonna put it safely in a drawer. Do be careful with them, they, they can be fragile. So put it someplace safe. I put it back in its, its padded packaging, put it back at safe in a drawer. So if I ever have a problem, I can swap back to it and I've got a spare just hanging around. So as you can see, this was a really simple project today. Should take you less than 10 minutes, maybe even less than five minutes if you just have the tools handy. And this is a great step forward as you make changes to your car and increase your turbo and increase your performance and you start pushing where the, where the edges are. And you wanna make sure you don't have a weak link and the factory three bar T-MAP sensor could definitely be a weak link depending on how far you push your car. All right, well, if you like what you've seen, please click subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me and my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know and I'll see you on my next video.